Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Betsy. Do you recognize the background today? Yes, I'm in my office. It's delightful to be in my office, whichever office I'm in. Where did I stop for my coffee? Nope, it's actually tea. Um, that is a whole new story. Did I give up coffee because of the caffeine? No. Did I give up coffee because of anything else? Yes. Did I give up coffee because it was, um, the acid in the coffee was causing difficulties for me? Yes. So pretty much I drink tea or frou-frou coffee. I will occasionally do a frou-frou coffee, but my coffee every day, it's been pretty close to a month now and it's made some amazing differences. But that's not the topic I really want to talk about today. I had one of those epiphanies the other day. I had been talking to a friend and when I talk to this friend, I, I have a few friends that when we talk, we get really into deep dive kind of conversations. None of this, oh, how's the weather? Um, now, you get a new puppy or a new kitty? Yeah, we'll talk forever about that. But, you know, you got your car washed, you mowed the yard. Yeah, you know, that's kind of not important in the scheme of things as a general rule. Now, if you find a car wash you really like, that's different. If you find one you really don't like, yeah, it, let me know about that. And did I turn my sound off this morning? No. So you never know what we're going to pop up with. I will not jump over and turn it off right now. But if it shouts at us, it shouts at us. But after this conversation, um, this person is is a protector. This person is a warrior. This person is... Um, I know, it's like, how do you describe somebody except using those, those key words, which is, which is who he has been. He will always take care of the underdog. And it's pretty interesting because sometimes that just really clashes with me. And I have learned through my journeys only over the last few years that when something is poking on me, when something is triggering me, when I'm irritated, when I'm upset, if I will be seriously honest with myself. It's a behavior, an attitude, a mannerism, a belief. Huh, here's the mirror. That's my mirror. The other day after the conversation, it was maybe a few days later, I was having this intense conversation, not in my head, but with the universe. And I'm going to try to share part of it. It was, it was um, remarkable in the places it took me. And when I say the places it took me, not the places of joy, of goodness, of protection, but in the places it took me on the opposite end, the less than, the inability, the victim. So we're going to like hit on those. And yeah, if you see me squirm, um, gosh, in the last few days, I've been to the chiropractor and I've been to my physical therapist and now I'm sitting down and we know that for me to sit down is one of my physical triggers to my body because okay well that's going to be another whole coffee because it just like smacked me also but let's see if I can if I can come up with and and it was so intense at the time I literally recorded it I was in the car so it's got car noise it's got commentaries on on 
a field of sheep that had just lambed. So it has some other stuff. It needs to be edited. But at least I've edited it once in my thoughts. And what I, under, what I came to understand for me, because of the mirror that this person presents to me on a regular basis, when someone rescues me, when someone protects me. Now, if somebody's about to kill my life, that's different. And when I've been in those situations, it's been me for the most part that's protected myself. There's been one person who, when my life was pretty likely in danger, that they did protect me also. But for the most part, this could be interesting this morning. Most, for the most part, when there has been a situation where either I have or have not needed protected. We're just going to go there. If I, most of the time we, I don't believe we really need to be protected because what protecting delivered in my life was I wasn't enough. I couldn't do it by myself. I couldn't stand up for myself. I couldn't create my own boundaries. I couldn't learn to say no. And each one of those things that have flown through my mind for the last few days, because it's been, it's been pretty amazing where it has taken me in a, in a journey of freedom. And that's really what this whole journey is about is freedom. The journey of my heart is about freeing my heart from all of the bondage that it's been in for all my life. But when someone is, is rescuing me, they're giving me an excuse to not do my best. They're giving me a way out. When I truly, good morning, Miss Patty. I hope you didn't get stuck up in that snow and you made it home before, before, uh, it stopped being just rain down here on the floor. But it's been really interesting to see the times where I've gotten used to. It has become a habit for me to reach out because reach out because I need help. What that means is I did not manage my money properly. I didn't have to manage my money properly because there was always somebody else that I could ask. If I needed bail, there was always somebody that would bail me out, which means bottom line is I was not responsible for the consequences of my action, actions. And it's been a struggle to identify that because so much of it also plays into the victim role. And I have always said I created my own situation, so I never was a victim. But it's that underlying victim that lives under my skin, that lives in my, it truly in my aches and my pains where my emotions have not been dealt with, which is why I'm so excited with, with what I do do in life now. I'm so excited with the practice that I have because as I free myself, I find out that other people are being free too. Morning, ma'am. I hope you're having a, a lovely day down there in the South Valley. Um, good, to, good to see you live this morning. Hope, hope your day goes well for you. It's a Tuesday. It should go well. 
hope, hope it's busier than it looked like when I checked the calendar. But what, what, and, and you know, even if we, even if we look at my work, it's about magical thinking because, and you know, we're just going to go there. It's been a good job. It's been a financially very helpful job. I thought it was where I wanted to go. And a lot of it was because I was looking at, it was a way to stop being in the need of being rescued all the time. But at the same time, it was not allowing me to go where I changed course. And I'm one of those people, you know, that's the way you chose to go. That's the way you go and you just deal with it. And that's not always how it needs to be. And that's how this has become is my life again. And a few years ago, my life took a massive switch and I no longer wanted to be the person I was then. Today, I no longer want to be the person I am today. That's not bad. That's no judgment. That's just, I choose something else today. I choose to not keep myself in that box of being a victim, of needing rescued of needing defended because I'm not strong enough. I'm not big enough. I'm, I'm just not capable enough, you know? That's just not, that, that dog don't hunt no more because that has kept me stuck and stagnant. And it's interesting that we, we did talk about stuck because somebody, told me the other day in a psychic reading, you are stuck, 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 stuck. They repeated that stuck four times in one paragraph. Yes, I have chosen to keep myself stuck and now I choose otherwise. And I am picking up the tools that I have and using them in a little different manner, in a much more constructive manner for myself. And it used to be, I don't even know what it used to be because used to be doesn't matter anymore. What matters is today. And I choose to be strong. I choose to be confident. I choose to be bold. I choose to use my words. I choose to use I choose to use my body because my body has been neglected for so long. It has become the victim of my protecting it. Let's say physical therapy has been really good for me, but I do want to say thank you for joining me this morning. There's a couple things going on. Uh, New Year's is coming up. I Duh. But what I will be doing again, and I did it for the full moon, is I'll be doing a releasing on the 31st to release that which is not for my highest and best good. And always feeling like I am going to be rescued is not for my highest and best good. On the 2nd, because that's the new moon, I will be doing my intentions, not resolutions, because I'm pretty much setting my resolution today. My resolution to live life all out. I am not the victim. And it's been amazing how many times a different friend has told me that I'm repeating the same patterns. You know, if we don't realize we're repeating them, they are just the patterns that we've always lived life. And life is not always the way I want to live it anymore. So I choose to change. 
So I, unless you catch me on one of the readings that I'm going to be doing, on one of the healing sessions that I'm going to be posting up, not sure where they're going to be. They may be on the energy page. They may be on the tarot page. Hey, I may pop them over here because <laughs> it's my life, <laughs> you know. Um, it no longer is becoming as important what people think about me, what their opinions are. Because if I care what your opinions are, then I stay needing protected from my opinions that have now filtered to me because of what I believed about what you thought, or even what I thought you thought, or what I thought you thought I thought you thought. So that's how much of a squirrel brain it can be. If you haven't had one of my sessions, whether it's bars, whether it's, um, duh, I'll look at my wall. What are my, I don't usually put my certificates up, but I did because it was, it became important to me. Whether it's bars, whether it's biofield, whether it's pranic, whether it's, um, Reiki, whether it's some of the other strange stuff that just manifests because I choose to change. Be blessed. All of the best in the new year to you. If you haven't found it, I do have a face a YouTube page. It's Betsy Champ. I'm real hard to find. It's very tiny, so you do have to look. And that's part of my decision to change, is to not be afraid of everything that I do, including Healy. Healy's over there. I have not earned my Healy certificate. Actually, Healy is a frequency device, and it will be one of the things that I am in the process, literally, of conquering because I have been held back in one area of my life for way too long, and I choose to change. Have a great day. Have a great rest of the year. And, you know, I'm going to borrow this from, from one of my coaches. Let 2022 be the year that dreams come true. Be blessed.